Hello, it's Sarah Dear Jones again with the second of my music and TED talks. And TED here is snoozing away on the chair next to me as usual. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I've no idea why people keep asking you to do that. But anyway, everybody else does it, so I'm doing it too. So please go ahead and subscribe. So today's um, little talk is about this really unusual instrument, which is a wire-strung harp made by Christopher Barlow of Wiltshire in the UK. And it has 34 strings that are made out of steel. And unusually, it has the levers, which you normally see on a gut or a nylon string harp. Uh, but uh, he's fitted them onto this wire-strung harp as well, so it makes it very easy to change key. So normally when you see people playing the wire-strung harp, they're doing it from the Celtic perspective. So uh, they're interested in the incredible history um, of this instrument in the Celtic areas of Britain, which means very often the instruments are virtually uh, copies of the original medieval ones. So you play them on the left shoulder and you play the treble strings with your left hand and the bass strings with your right hand, which is exactly the opposite way to how conventional harpists play. So it means that if you've played, uh, if you've been trained classically or even traditionally in the conventional way, you're going to find it a bit tricky to convert to some of these instruments. So that's why an instrument like this is so useful because it means that you'll be able to sit down behind it and just get straight stuck in. Now the problem is the strings are incredibly resonant as you might have heard in that first clip. So you do have to be a bit careful about how you play, especially in the left hand. So be a bit sparing about your bass notes or if you are going to play a lot of bass notes you have to incorporate some nifty damping me methods which you learn how to do normally in classical music anyway so that shouldn't be a problem. So I'm now going to play a piece of music that features on one of my albums, Suravis, which means Fair Wind, uh, which was an album of music I did all the way around the UK. And this track in particular that came from Ireland is called The Lost Souls. And you can buy my music and my CDs from the Cornwall Harp Centre shop. And there'll be a link at the end of this video. So I'm now going to play Lost Souls for this amazing, unusual wire-strung harp by Christopher Barlow. Thank you. 